Um, I took three months off. My whole band took three months off, from January to uh, until April, and um, I spent some time at Topeka Canyon. And I had this really sweet little house. I had I hadn't paid rent in so long because I've been living on my like, own Hawaii. And, and, uh, Paying rent was like, oh my god, I'd be rent with this guy. <laughs> but shit in the same toilet was fun. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was able to build a little studio in there. And, uh, Super stoked to be a part of it, you know, and to 
be amongst y'all and to feel like we are together on this thing <laughs> yeah. is really helpful for me and like and, and helpful for me to sort of like move through my own shit, you know. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Stuff's changing, like there's so much stuff happening spiritually and politically in our, in our generation and in, in the world. I was really scared of just like where I wanted to be at if, if like, you know, something crazy happened, which is you know, happening now. And I was like, well, where do I want to be at? If I can choose where I want to be at, you know, this is my, this is my process. It's like, well, if I can decide where I'm going to be at when I fucking die, yeah. <laughs> where do I want to be at? And I was like, well, I want to be near my family. And I was like, I'd like to be at my apartment in Hawaii. But I realized during like this mushroom trip when I was down there <laughs> was that I don't get to decide. That I have to, you know, it's all perfect and wherever I'm going to be at, I'm going to be at. Because in my mind I was like, well, I'll get a sailboat and I'll put a horse on it. I'll <laughs> <laughs> put a huge stop pile of drugs on it. And lots of water. And some crackers. <laughs> and the avocado. <laughs> But anyway, I realized that I had to sort of like, you know, surrender to the fact that, you know, wherever you're going to be at is, is where you're supposed to be at. And that's a hard thing to surrender to sometimes because you want to think that you're in control of that. You want to be like, well, I can decide. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> anyway, that's what that song was. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. That was a beautiful song. Beautiful. And it was so phenomenal because this video that came out, you know, was not from me. I didn't make the video. In fact, it came out during the same time that released a video called Me and Mr. Washington. Oh, yeah. And in the same week that that video came out, this other video came out for Aloha Keakua, <coughs> which I'm sure many of you have seen. And uh, I, it was up on my, my Facebook page for like a week. I didn't watch it. And I was like, oh, stop making the video. <laughs> and then a bit, like a week later, I actually watched it. And of course, I, you know, crying. <laughs> Holy, like crying. Especially when that girl like jumps up against yeah. the, the horse. She's like, Shh. And I was like, is that real? I was like, I don't that. I want to do that. Or when she's like, she's like, she's like in the middle of all those native elders. And, you know, and she's just like, and they're like, yes, you're <laughs> so epic, right? But I actually met the fella that made that video within the next six months after that. Really beautiful bro, just like basically bought this stock footage to make this video inspired by the song. And it's just crazy how like all those little things, the little pieces like get, fit, get put together. Because even that version that I recorded on that song was like a fully like just a day I was in my friend's studio and I was just like, oh, let's just record it on the piano. Super random, absolutely no plan. But anyway, I'm just. Sorry, I'm all right. It's all magic now. Yeah! Buffalo! It's been a long day, but I feel like this is going to be really a fantastic event. I'm just glad to be here at the California Rose Festival. Thank you so much. Hello? Hello? Oh, I just switched on. That's cool. Fly me to the moon. Once a live stream, directly into the camera. So do I hold both of them for real? 
Well, I need to be here. Well, ma'am, not So, everyone, this, this is Dan Sheehan and his wife, Amy, and they're the co founders of the festival who do an amazing job putting this whole thing together. They're production crazy. So, the name actually means bear, so you're actually just, I don't know how that ended up being what it is, but yeah, a lot of people don't know. Okay, okay, all right. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. Yeah. Yes, yes. So what do you think about this groovy festival? Well, uh, from the outskirts so far, it looks fantastically fantastic and majestic and amazing. The vibes are high and the, uh, the wind is, is light. And I think that uh, it looks cool. I haven't been inside yet, but it feels good. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. You've just arrived. Yes, just arrived fresh off the boat. Yes. Are you excited about your performance? Uh, it's actually my, kind of my first reggae festival. So I'm kind of like, I'm a little bit freaking out, yeah. Okay. I'm excited though, very excited. I know you had a new song, tell me about who that was recorded with. Oh yeah, we just, uh, I just partnered up with uh, Soja and, um, and Michael Franti and we just uh, put a song out uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. So it's called I Believe and you can download it in iTunes. So Nako, what, one thing that I personally love about your music, and I'm sure you hear this all the time. I can't, I love you. Is everything that you write about, everything you speak about, even watching all your videos and when you play, you are a hundred percent aiming from the heart. It's almost as if you go into this whole other world and you transcend into this universal love, and just something just flows out of you. Is that how? Is that how it feels? Because that's how we're actually experiencing you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think parts of it feel like that. Um, I mean, as artists and poets, I think we always sort of feel many different things writing music and performing it. But, um, but yeah, I definitely feel like at the, uh, at the root of it, that's definitely where coming from, you know? And it feels good to sort of be able to see that reflected in other people, hear it, and um, see it live. Um, because, yeah, I think that that's, that's uh, the walk that I'm focusing on for sure. Um, man, there's so much to say, uh, but I'm super excited about this year of the horse to be sort of charging forward with, uh, with our music and traveling um, the world. We just got back from Australia and Israel, and um, just really, really excited to see this, uh, this message and this uh, vibe, sort of be able to um, take it to different parts of the world, and even just like bringing music to different land bases, I think is really cool, because not only do the people get to receive it, but the land gets to hear it. And so I think it's kind of like, it's two parts for me, so I'm stoked to be able to come to this part of the world. I've never played here in Monterey before, so I'm just like, wow, this is cool. Like, the land, the land feels sort of like, um, it's, you know, like, I'm going to try with that. Right. But yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty much, you know, what I guess I have to say about that. There's lots to say, but I am very excited to be here. When did you know that you wanted to be an artist? Or that you were an artist? I probably last year. Really? <laughs> Maybe even in January. Seriously? I think I might have officially been like, oh, I'm an artist. Right? You know, like, I don't know, it's, it, it was never something that I was, like, when you're, like, five or six, you're, like, I want to be an astronaut or a basketball player, I wasn't, like, an artist. Okay, yeah. so it's just something that was naturally evolving in you? Naturally evolving. I was a farmer for, like, five, four or five years, and so I didn't, and I was just playing music in Hawaii, and that's how I got into the last couple years. Okay, and so you said you were a farmer, and 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 you said you um, I want to open up the floor. Yeah, I get a sandwich. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>